Hi everyone, welcome to my yarn room, or my living room. <laughs> As you can see, we're in the living room because I got my plants here. My yarn room is a little dark and full to have plants in, so I'm hoping to maybe make some space in there. We'll see. But today I'm gonna show you a couple of projects I've been working on. They're not big projects. They are projects that I have been working on that were designed by a few of the designers in my interview series going on this fall. So I, you know what, I'm probably gonna have to take my hair out of the ponytail to show you a couple of these. But the first thing I wanna show you is this. Is this not cute or what? It's adorable. This little ghosty guy is designed by Divine Debris and she is going to be my guest this coming Friday. We've already had the interview. We talked about all the cool yarny stuff she's making. You guys aren't gonna wanna miss it because it's gonna be really, really fun. You're really, really gonna enjoy the interview. Plus she has amazingly cool things. And I'm gonna put her website down there below so you can go check it out. She has a free pattern every week that you can go try out. This is the one I tried from last week. And this is part of a bag. You, you make, I don't know, it's like 12 or 15, something of these little squares, put them all together and it makes a bag. So put some pictures up here to show what the bag looks like. So you can take a look. Uh, super easy, super fun tapestry crochet. And of course, that's what this upcoming week is going to be about, tapestry crochet. Fun. Okay, let's see, what else? I have got, oh, this also is a Divine Debris pattern. This is for this week's pattern. Oops, I should have left this stuff in it. It's a bag, isn't this cute? The yarn that I use on this is the, um, what's it called? Oh, I have it right here. The Juicy Couture Lux Velour Sparkle that I got from Joanne about a month ago. I, uh, I didn't know what I was gonna use the yarn for, so I saw that that pattern called for a five weight yarn. Oh, that'd be so cute. Plus, September is Barbie Crochet Fun Month for the Yarn Geek. And, uh, I, you know, I've also added another hashtag in there. Hashtag Barbie made me do it. <laughs> so yeah, Barbie made me do it. Barbie made me do it in this color. There are two bags that are on the free pattern this week. One is a smaller bag and the other is a bigger bag. They're kind of like nest, nesting bags and I'm using more Barbie colors. This is more of the Velour Lux Juicy Couture yarn. And see this one is smaller. It's gonna sit inside this one. And then I'm gonna fill it with pink yarn. You know, as you do when you make a new cool bag, you gotta fill it with cool yarn. Okay, so that's what I got going on there. And for the next two, I'm gonna have to take off my, I'm gonna have to take my ponytail down. Tails in here, there we go. Okay, in case you didn't know, I got to interview Crystal from Bag of Day Crochet this week. And it's the best interview ever. I had so much fun. The best thing of all, you know what? I could have like, not posted the video and been just as happy. I was just so happy to talk to Crystal. For those of you who ever watched Crystal, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It just, uh, she makes you feel special. So anyway, I hope, I hope that we can do just as good a job of making her feel special. Anyway, I had to make her kitty cat hat. Look at this, oh my gosh. I'm in love. I made this kitty cat hat. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Meow. I want to put a little nose right here and some whiskers and a little tongue. Wouldn't that be cute? 
But yeah, I'm in love with this kitty cat hat. It seriously did not take long at all to make. And I do believe that I picked out the perfect yarn for it. It is, oh boy, where is the tag for this? I used the Loops and Threads Mixed Up Yarn from Michaels. This is one of the new yarns that came out this year. And it literally has like three textures in the yarn. I'll hold up. This is what I have left of the yarn. So I could make another hat. And I want to tell you what this yarn feels like. This is, it's a bulky five weights, 67% acrylic, 12% polyester, 11% nylon, 7% um, metallic, 3% wool. There are 226 yards of this yarn. And I was like, oh my gosh, that would make the softest kitty cat hat. Now let me tell you, the different areas of this yarn. Okay, so this, like this one right here, right here, that first one, that texture totally reminds me of the Crystal Karen Cake that um, Karen came out with a couple of years ago that was at Michael's. This one right here, the second one, I don't know if you can see the fuzzies on that. It's like Karen Latte Cakes. Okay, yeah, so Karen Crystal Cakes, Karen Latte Cakes. And this one right here is like a smaller weight homespun. But you know what? It makes it so much fun to work with this yarn because there's different textures to work with. And I thought that it just made a great, a great kitty cat hat. You know, like a little long haired gray and white spotty kitty. And I think I'll be able to get two out of these. I, I have a big head, so I, I probably could have made this smaller for like a normal size human head. And then, um, but I'll definitely be able to make a smaller one. I'll see, I'll see if Abby wants one, my granddaughter. <laughs> I don't know, I know Emmy's gonna want one. Emmy loves kitty cats, so she's gonna get one of these hats. And let's see, what else do I have here? Oh, but anyway, this is one of Bag O' Day Crochet's new tutorials and Literally, it did not take long at all to make. So if you are wanting to make a kitty cat hat, go make this. And of course, you guys know I got you covered. I'm putting all of the links down below. Crystal's link is going to be there for the kitty cat hat. Um, I'm going to put Amber from Divine Debris links to her free patterns down below. And... I've got one more thing. I might have already showed you guys this, but I'm going to show you again because I love it so much. Oh, look at this. This is, I think it's the Poison Skull hat. I'll have to get the exact name of the hat by Sixel Design. And this is in her new book. Look at those. Isn't that cool? I made one, I made it with cotton with a cotton three weight yarn. And I wasn't as happy with it because the yarn was a little too lightweight. So I redid it and I used four weight acrylic. I'm in love with this hat. So anyway, I'm gonna put the links down for this below. You know, it's crazy. I gotta tell you, this is a little off, off to the side a little bit. I have, okay, I love to crochet. I love yarn and I love to crochet and I just love to make things where I kind of fall off is making tutorials and patterns because I'm not great at that. So I came up with this awesome idea that I could just make other people's things and show them to you and then give you the links to where you can go find them. Because, um, yeah, yeah, the, the tutorials 
and the actual uh, pattern writing are not my strong point. Maybe someday I'll be able to hire a pattern writer and that would be like, okay, no, that's not going in there. So anyway, this way I can with confidence say, yes, if you would like to make this, <laughs> The link is down below. I, yes, I do have a pattern and a tutorial for that. Unfortunately, I did not make it. It is not by me, but I will be happy to send you to the right one. We got to spread the yarny crochet yarn love, right? Okay. So that's it. I got to come. Oh, then I got the, oh, sorry. I did make this one up. You know what? I, this is one I actually did kind of make a pattern for, although this part of it, this is, it's not finished. So uh, <laughs> if I can find the link for this, I will put it down below. I posted a link for this a few years back in the Yarn Hookers newsletter, and it was called the Funky Winker Bean Scarf. I don't exactly remember why it was called the Funky Winker Bean Scarf, but it was. <laughs> and so if I can find the pattern for that, I will post that. It's just a basic bean stitch. But this yarn is, what yarn is this? This is Plymouth Hotcakes. And I got this at the Yarn Barn, downtown Lawrence, but I'm sure you could order it off the Plymouth Yarn website. And what else do I got? I got a bunch of Hobie stuff going on right here. This is my Hobie fun cart. That's what I'm going to call it. Hobie fun cart. And it's got a bunch of Hobie projects on there that I need to work on this weekend because I'm a little behind with my Hobie projects. I think that's it. I still have to weave in the ends for my Barbie blanket. There's a lot of ends to weave in. I'm just saying there's a lot of ends. So anyway, wish me luck on the Barbie <laughs> weaving end of the weaving end, the weaving in of the ends of the Barbie blanket. Yeah, I'm gonna work on that. And what else? Okay, that's it. I'm gonna get back to work on some of this uh, yarny fun and I will see y'all later alligators. And if you wanna find out more about Crystal and Alexis, Bag of Day Crochet and Sixel Design, Go check out these two videos. Love you guys.